I'm here just um, bringing Fluffy in for her surgery today. Mm -hmm. uh, she's getting spayed. Yep. All right. I just have a few questions to ask you. Okay. Um, when was Fluffy's last meal? So I followed the the uh, veterinarian's instructions, and so it was uh, 12 hours ago last night. When was the last time Fluffy had a bowel movement? So I took her out this morning and she, she did number one and number two. So she's uh, she's all clear of that. Um, when was the last time your dog has been groomed? Uh, yeah, we talked about this last time we were in. So I made sure that she was uh, fully bathed and her hair was cut yesterday actually. So um, she won't, as I heard, we won't be allowed to bathe her for seven days, I guess, roughly after? Yes. Okay, so that's good. Yep, so she's ready to go. Um, has she been on any medications recently? No, she's uh, just been her typical self, just very energetic. She's, uh, she's very quiet right now. She's a little, she's a little nervous, but... Uh, That's normal. Yeah. Well, speaking of being nervous, uh, I'm a little bit nervous too. I'm wondering, maybe I can talk to someone a bit about more about the procedure and what's going to happen to Fluffy. And I heard anesthetics, you know, going under is really dangerous and there's lots of risks involved. So is there anyone I could talk to a bit about that? To, yeah, of course. I'll go and grab the surgeon for you. Well, thank you so much. No problem. Hi, um, this is Dr. Kelly. Are you doing your surgery today? Hi. Hi, doctor. Um, so I'll be performing Fluffy's ovarian hysterectomy, which is we just take out both the uterus and the ovaries. Okay. Um, it's a really common procedure. I've done it many, many times. Okay. Um, I hear that you're a bit nervous about anesthesia. Yeah, I'm pretty. I mean, my friend, she went under and she she died, and it was just it was so it was horrible, it was scary. And I I could never have I didn't want that to happen to Fluffy. It's just it scared me. Yeah, I understand that. It can definitely be a scary experience. Um, we take a lot of precautions. We do um, pre-planning -plan such as like blood work. We do a physical exam, uh, which is our post anesthetic exam and um, after we have great post-operative care which is where a lot of issues could arise which there shouldn't be any problems we have great staff okay. um, so the blood work right just so you understand kind of yeah um, it's looking for underlying conditions like heartburn or right. some kidney and liver issues which would would make for anything to happen during the surgery she was vaccinated for yes. the heart work. Exactly. So, that's good. so yes. already we we know that like she's probably good. So we shouldn't have to worry about anything. Okay. Well, I appreciate you taking the time to talk to me and consult with me a little bit here. Um, uh, I have to go to work, so I guess it, you'll just let me know oh, yeah. if there's any problems. Definitely. And, yeah, oh. we won't be going ahead if there's any issues. So don't don't worry about it. Oh, be, I'm gonna miss you. Okay. Take care, girl. <laughs> Good luck. Thank you so much for your time. Sarah, okay, so I just talked to uh, Dr. Carly, mm -hmm. and she said that she wanted us to start with the uh, pre-anesthetic uh, examination. So I'm wondering if uh, I can maybe uh, take a look at Fluffy, and uh, you can maybe document the pre-examination checklist for us? Yeah, for sure. Okay, great. So we'll just start out with the uh, the body conditioning score. So mm -hmm. it looks like she's, uh, she's pretty good, pretty good shape. She's pretty healthy looking, right? Mm -hmm. Like maybe like a three, I guess? Yeah. Okay, good. So we'll, um, I, I, you just took her weight prior to uh, coming in, right? So Yeah, I got 30 pounds. Okay, yeah. that seems pretty, pretty normal. normal. Yeah. So let's check her temperature here. Mm -hmm. well, it looks like it's a, uh, oh, it's a little bit high. Oh, so it's okay. uh, about a, almost a 30, 39, which oh, is, wow. but you know what? She's, I think she's a little bit maybe nervous, nervous so there's a little yeah. stress is kind of kicking in here. Um, also, she seems pretty bright and alert. She mm -hmm. seems pretty responsive, which is good. She's a good girl. Uh, I'm just going to check her heart rate here to see if uh, how everything sounds. Yeah, sounds like her. She's got a little pulse. Seems a little bit high for her dog, but you know what? I think it's just she's. I think she's pretty nervous, so mm -hmm. that's okay. And um, I'll just check her eyes and ears. Mm -hmm. Eyes look pretty good. Ears look also pretty good. Mm -hmm. um, her nose is pretty moist. Mucous membranes are pink and moist, which is good. And the uh, capillary refill time is less than one second, so that's uh, that's very good as well. I'm mm -hmm. um, just checking her coat to palpate her abdomen and uh, see if there's anything else. Here, no, it looks pretty good to me. Um, and uh, 
we'll just we have to wait for Dr. Carly's results from the blood work that was being done, mm -hmm. and then hopefully she'll be good to go for surgery. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Hi, Doctor. All right, so I see you guys did the physical. Yeah. Um, her blood work came back perfect, no abnormalities. So I think we're good to go. I'll just okay. Yeah, physical. I'm gonna just check her out. We, we noticed her temperature was a little bit high, and her pulse is a bit high, but. You're thinking that's probably just some nerves. Yeah. Alright. I think it's good. Um, I still want to put her on some IV fluid since it's her first time just to... Just precautionary, yeah, I guess, right? Too. Okay. Okay. Alright, so we'll prepare the uh, medications to sedate and uh, get the IV fluids ready as well. Sounds good. Alright, thanks. I'll see you soon. Hey Sarah, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Good, so uh, you went and just saw Megan, I guess, right, to find out how the surgical packs are ready? Yeah, and they're all ready to go. Great. Um, surgical suite's good as well? Yeah, and the ECG machine's ready to go just in case, yeah. I think it's important that we have that ready just in case any problems arise with the fluffy. This is her first time going under mm -hmm. anesthesia, so I want to make sure that we were really prepared for any complications. Okay. So uh, she seems like she's she's still in a good high spirit. So we're gonna get ready to to prepare, prepare for uh, induction. Okay. So we're gonna sedate her and we're gonna use an intravenous to uh, to add IV fluids for her. Okay. Sure. So if you could just give me a hand assist to uh, restraining her while I get the needle ready here. For sure. Okay. So just some cephalic vein here. Oh, sorry, sorry, Fluffy. Okay. She's such a good girl, though. Look at she that. Really she's. Is. Being so well behaved. So uh, this will just help maintain Fluffy's uh, temperature during the procedure, uh, also keep her hydrated, and uh, make sure her blood pressure uh, remains in the appropriate range. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I'm just going to inject some medication here to help sedate Fluffy. There we go. For a little bit of a longer uh, cord here, so might take a minute. Oh, she yeah, seems like she's done it. She's, she's going, yes. Yeah. She's getting pretty sleepy. Okay, so we'll just turn her over into the uh, dorsal recumbency position. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to take her over to, we're going to just bring her over to our site where we're going to prepare and shave the uh, incision site, okay? Okay. All right, thanks. Okay, right. hey, Sarah, so uh, Fluffy seems to be doing pretty good. She's mm -hmm. still, she's, she's very sedated. Wow. Yeah. She's out of it. Okay, so now we're just going to uh, prepare her to, um, we're going to induce her, so I'm going to apply some anesthetic to Fluffy. Um, what I'm going to use first, I'm just going to put in an endotracheal tube. Okay. Basically, that's going to just maintain Fluffy's airways, and so she can, you know, she doesn't pull her tongue, and she doesn't stop breathing, um, and we're going to use an inhalation method of uh, anesthesia. Okay. okay, put that in, and just, oh, that's great. Okay, so now we've, uh, we're starting in, in the induction process, mm -hmm. and once she's fully induced, we can uh, begin preparing the surgical site. All right, sounds good. Sarah, so uh, Fluffy's fully induced now, so we're gonna start uh, preparing the surgical incision site. Okay, I'm gonna use my number 40 clipper blade to shave the area, prep it. First, I'm going to just wipe down the area, make sure all the dirt is removed. I'm going to start shaving, get all the hair off, make sure it's all clear and clean. Yeah, Fluffy's got a lot of hair. Jeez. So much hair. I guess that's why they call her Fluffy. <laughs> all right, does that look okay? Looks good to me, yeah. All right. Start, to, I guess, cleaning the incision site. Yep. I'm going to use this... Uh... It's uh, chlorhexidine, right? So yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Put a new bottle up for you. Oh, thank you. And then we'll do the spiral technique. Looks good. Get all that nice and clean. So soapy. So we use a little bit of alcohol to clean the. Uh, yeah. There we go. I will use the same spiral motion as well. Get any excess hair on the debris off. Got a good technique. Works really well. Throw this, throw this out. So just sterilize the uh, site now. Mm -hmm. All right, then. We'll just remove any of the excess dirt. And there we go. It's great. 
looks like the, the site's it's, uh, completely clean mm -hmm. and uh, there's no hair, just maybe the last bits of removal. It's great. There we go. So uh, the surgical team should be fully uh, scrubbed now mm -hmm. so we can bring Fluffy into the uh, surgical site room. Okay. Great. Let's do it. Started.